Oh, I found another great TikTok guy I like, White Claw Gabe. <laughs> Dude, this guy's awesome. Another one that showed up on my homepage. Fried chicken Wednesday, baby. Yeah. Can we order one of these famous Philly cheesesteaks? Okay, sir, coming right up. In this video, we're going to see how Ethan scrolling on his TikTok feed led to this moment. And later, this other moment. Who the fuck is out the game? Who the fuck is out the game? Hey, this is Ethan's Basement, and in this video, we're going to dive in the history of how a TikTok user named White Claw Gabe became a part of the H3 universe. Initially, my plan was to create a video explaining the recurring callers and guests of the podcast, similar to the one I made about the crew. However, I found myself with so much to share about Gabe that I decided to devote an entire video to him. Also, I've seen a lot of people confused about why Gabe calls in every Friday, who is he, and how it started. That's what gave me the idea to make this video. For newer fans or anyone that wants to freshen up their memory, let's dive in. Hello, everybody. I'm Gabe, as known as White Claw Gabe and Uncle Gabe. By the way, he's now officially called Uncle Gabe since White Claw doesn't want to collaborate with him. So he recently rebranded his name. But if you want to know why he was called White Claw Gabe at the time, here's a simple explanation. <laughs> this boy, this dude's fucking called fuck. White Claw Gabe because he, on the weekends, he drinks tons of White Claw. Huh. Which is like, what is fucking White Claw? It's like a uh, flavored the beer or something kind of thing. Oh, it's, it's a, a seltzer. Alcohol or, yeah, seltzer. To go back to the very beginning of this, like I said, Ethan randomly found him on his TikTok feed, and here's the first video of him he ever saw of Gabe. Mm -hmm. This is the first one I saw, and this is kind of the iconic White Claw Gabe. It, it's... Yeah, fried chicken Wednesday, baby, baby. Yeah, fucking's one of my favorite nights because of fried chicken. Yeah, fucking Wednesday night, baby. Fucking fried chicken. Yep, fried chicken Wednesday. <laughs> fried chicken Wednesday. Who deserves fried chicken? Me. I just serve fried chicken. It's fucking Wednesday. Right. Wednesday night. Fried chicken. Yeah. What is going on? Closer to the weekend, <laughs> Thursday. The, and then Friday, here comes the weekend. Fucking. Fucking Wednesday fucking night. Fried fucking. chicken Wednesday, baby. <laughs> Who deserves fried chicken? Me. Ethan instantly loved his energy and did some more research on him and his videos to understand his character and his style of content. I couldn't tell if he was like, doing a character or not, but I went all the way back. I've done a lot of research on this guy, but it's definitely not in character. I'll say that. And if you go back long enough, he's not cursing either. Because I thought, well, maybe he's got like some kind of compulsion to curse. But if you go back. I see the chat's asking if he has Tourette's. No, he doesn't have Tourette's for sure. Okay. And from that, a few episodes after, Gabe made him a personalized video on his TikTok to thank Ethan for the shout out. And that's how that relationship began. Hey, Ethan, yeah. thanks for the support. I appreciate you. Hell I appreciate yeah. your support. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a white cloth someday. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to that. meet you someday. Yeah. Let's have a fucking good time. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, love, Ethan, yeah. thanks for the support. Fucking I appreciate you. I appreciate your... <laughs> Wasn't that nice of him? That's yeah. really nice. I like White Claw Gabe. Fried chicken Wednesday, baby. Yeah! White Claw Gabe is calling in. The fable. It's Friday, Friday baby! baby. <laughs> This is the first time he called into the podcast. Everyone from the crew in honor of Gabe tried White Claws on the show, and this is around the same time his TikTok started blowing up. And at that time, Zach started to use a lot of sound bites of Gabe in every episode. Fuck! And we're all going to have our hey, it's Friday, inaugural baby. White Claws. I've never I, had a White Claw. Me, me neither. So no. I'm going to crack uh, it open with White Claw in honor of this beautiful Friday afternoon. Gabe. Gabe, can you hear us? What's going on? Nice yes, What's baby. Going on? It's Friday, baby. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Hey, it's Friday, baby. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, baby. It's Friday. Yeah. Fuck. What Fuck. are you doing today? It's Friday. What do we got planned? Well, I'm in Miami. I just went to the beach. I had lunch. You know, I'm just enjoying my time right now. <laughs> are Miami you is the spot. Are you loving life? You you are big. You're big time now, dude. How are you yeah, loving the fame? It's good right now, baby. It's this is just like um, it's just like appetizers. Wait till the 
the main course comes oh. later. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ethan particularly enjoyed the I deserve fried chicken catchphrase and was using it all the time during the podcast, so it became a very prevalent meme in the H3 universe. This is me when Ela says we can't order pizza. <laughs> I deserve pizza! Fuck! Fucking fuck. Fucking fried chicken. Yeah. This is my Wednesday show. It's my show. I deserve to talk about fried chicken. He also started a cameo at that time to order personalized videos of him, and apparently that is still his main source of revenue to that day. I do aspiring work, you know, like acting and stuff, you know, just free, freelancing, you know, like doing cameos and, you know, doing some oh. merch right now. Oh, you're on cameo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Well, I'd love to promote your cameo. What is your cameo? Well, I do cameos like happy birthday or do like I got sometimes I got to roast people like, hey, you're fat and ugly and all that stuff. Oh, you roast wow. people? Oh, interesting. Congratulate them for, you know, they make it through graduation. If that's simple stuff like that. Oh, if you guys want to find White Claw Gabe on Cameo, it's just White Claw Gabe. He even at some point became one of the most booked Cameo personality of the year. Yo, Woo! Gabe, looking good. There you go. Nice shades. <clears throat> Thanks. You got some new shades? Is this your new look? <laughs> this is my new look right now because I'm number one on Cameo, baby. Yeah, Fuck I baby. saw yeah. that. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Gabe, are you number one? Because I saw an I don't I saw an article. He's in the top. Yeah, he's in the top five most booked cameo creators of 2021. What on earth? Bro? Wow. wow. How how does that feel? It feels good, baby. Ooh. I'm Hollywood <laughs> now, baby. Fuck you me. are. Fuck yeah. You are Hollywood. <laughs> Ethan had the idea not long after to have Gabe call in every Friday at the beginning of the show because of his catchphrase, it's Friday, baby, yeah. I'm actually excited to announce that we've been in talks with Gabe uh, to call in at the top of the show every Friday. We're deep in negotiations with yeah, it. It's a, it's a, yeah, yeah, we're talking to his agent, we're finalizing the details. But, you know, imagine every After Dark from here on out, starting with, it's Friday, baby, yeah. And, and that's Friday, baby, fuck. And that's why this is the best show on earth. So after that, Gabe started calling every Friday doing something different and being at different places every time, for example, at a baseball game. Hi, Gabe, where Gabe. are you? You're at a ball game? <laughs> yeah. It's Friday, baby. Yeah, Chicago, baby. Oh, Chicago. hey! Make this deal, motherfucker. At the movies. Oh my goodness, it's <gasps> Gabe. <laughs> Are you in a movie theater? There he is. What's going Gabe. on? Gabe. Yeah. Are you? Working. Yeah. Gabe, it, it, it's Friday. Hey, can I hear you? <laughs> it's Friday, baby. It's, it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You're in a movie theater? What are you watching? Yeah. I'm Friday. We're watching the. Yeah. It's Friday, baby. Friday. It's the start of the weekend, baby. Oh, we're Sunday. sipping some cola. Is there work or school tomorrow? <laughs> We miss you so much. Yeah, I don't know yet. Yeah, yeah. All right. Movie. <laughs> All right. Gabe, I'm going to let you enjoy that film, okay? I don't want to disturb the people around you, but thanks for calling in, okay, and checking in on us. Sure. All right. Sure. All right. In the library. Oh, oh Gabe. <laughs> up, Gabe. Gabe. Today. What you do? Oh, you're in the library? I'm in the library. Shh, I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> Fuck, baby. Oh. Fuck. Shh. Fuck, baby. Shh. Fuck, baby. Shh. What? Fuck, yeah. Shh. Shh. Okay. <laughs> What set? What section are you in in the library? What What do you got behind you there? I'm in the travel section, oh, trying to read about traveling and stuff, studying about going places and stuff. And sometimes not at the most appropriate place. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Where are we today? Oh, you're on a playground. Okay. Playground. I'm on a playground in the park, having my ice cream, baby. Fuck, baby. Fuck yeah. Fuck, baby. Yeah. Is that a little sketchy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good woo. <laughs> hey, Gabe, can I ask you something? Sure. You're on a playground. Are you with a child? No child. No child in sight, baby. It's safe. You're not offering ice cream to kids or anything, are you? I'm uh, not. No. no, okay, good. Just make it sure. Be a weird yeah, okay, good. Just make it sure, you know. So, for the fans, it was always exciting to see what new situation Gabe would be calling in from. 
During that time, we also learned that Gabe knows every public holiday and is very knowledgeable about non-working days. Friday, yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, it's the weekend. It's the Three weekend, weekend, baby. Fuck. We got Friday, Saturday, it's... Sunday, baby. Oh, fuck yeah. Monday's a holiday and it's a four-day weekend. <laughs> it is? It is? Wait, what's the it's Memorial Day. Man, yeah, next week. Memorial Day. Are you kidding me? It's, what? Did we just learn from Gabe that it's Memorial Day? We did. <laughs> Next Whoa, week. baby, it's a four-day weekend. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Which goes great with his character and his no school and no work bit he always plays up. It's Memorial Day! It's Memorial Day! Yeah! Happy 4th of July! Happy Cinco de Mayo, baby. Fuck yeah. Yeah, 4th of July weekend, baby. Fuck yeah. Ethan started to have different rituals with him. First, they would brainstorm live on the show very vulgar phrases for him to try on his future TikToks to see what would stick. Do you want, if you ever want a new one, I can help you. Do you want a new one or are you good with pissing my ass for now? Um, let's, let's try a new one. Okay. How about, uh, <laughs> how about, um, some suggestions here too. I'm, I'm how about, uh, <laughs> f my tits. My tits. Uh, <laughs> And the second thing is the staring contest they do before hanging up. Which they still do to this day, despite the awkward dead air it creates. We can't talk about Gabe and forget about Nick Nick. He's Gabe nephews and also helps him with his content and handling his social media. A lot of time, he's the one holding the phone while Gabe calls in. What's going on, Ethan? Oh, hey, I've, seen, I've seen you in um, I've seen you in his TikToks. What's your guys' relationship? So he's my uh, uncle. He's uh, oh, my mom's oh, uncle, father. Gabe. So I I help him with all his TikToks and that uh, kind of stuff. Oh, legend! What's your name, dude? I'm Nick Nick. Nice to meet you, bro. Nick Nick. Oh, you're Nick Nick. Nick. Do you like yeah. White Claw? <laughs> nice. Oh, yes, I do. Nice. <laughs> the man. Ethan loved to pick his brain to understand Gabe a little more. And we know Ethan is not afraid to ask personal question to a guest. So we got to know a little bit more about Gabe's personal and dating life. Exciting. Gabe, I, this may be a little bit forward, and you, there's no pressure to answer it. You could just tell me I don't want to answer it. I don't know if I've asked you before. Are you virgin, or have, have, you, have you had sex before? I'm a virgin. You are? Okay. I'm Really? Be honest. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. I, I get it. There's no shame in that. But a lot of people from the audience don't like these types of personal questions, so Ethan doesn't do it too much anymore. Sometimes the Friday shows after dark get replaced by guest episodes, but that doesn't mean Gabe is not going to call in to say hi, even during the interviews, which led to very various reactions from the guests. Oh, he's on TikTok, White Claw Gabe. Yeah, yeah, oh, you know that. White Claw Gabe? Yeah, yeah. He's been calling in every Friday. That's awesome. <laughs> For about a year he's he's friend of the show big time he's a good guy we love horse him horse cock energy <laughs> yeah horse cock energy baby Woo! horse cock energy baby fuck me fuck you this is white claw gabe he calls me every friday <laughs> which is a happy friday uh white claw gabe do you know bobby lee and kalila they're here they're our guests today <laughs> bobby lee cock what's going on my brother <laughs> what's going on it's friday baby where are you right now <laughs> i'm at menchie's having some <laughs> yogurt Okay. Ow. Start of the weekend. You want to say something to White Claw Gabe? He's our, he's our friend that calls him yeah, on Friday. Yeah. Hey, White, is it White Clark? White it's Claw. a White Claw, the drink. Yeah, yeah. White Claw Gabe. White Claw oh, Gabe. Claw. Mm -hmm. what? what's, what's happening here? Oh, this is, oh so this oh, is White we have Claw Gabe. Gabe. Okay. Hey, Gabe. What's up, baby? <laughs> Ow. Well, I have a guest here, Blake. Um, He's an AI uh, ethic, ethics engineer, a specialist. Do you have any? Do you, you want to ask him anything, or or should we just AI AI Blake? Woo. Yeah, woo. woo! AI Blake, what's going on? Woo. Ow, 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 ow. I, AI, AI Blake, AI, I like that. Blake. AI Blake <laughs> about Gabe's birthdays. There's another interesting story behind this. The crew went to Gabe's 50th birthday and documented it and had a great time there.
Fried Chicken Wednesday, motherfuckers. Woo! Yeah, that looked like a crazy wow. time. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. No, that's a party. Strippers. But the next year, for Gabe's 51st birthday, everyone from the crew had something else planned. And even though they were invited and said they would come, none of them showed up, which made a lot of fans of the podcast very angry and posting about it on the subreddit. There that is. You know, it was Gabe's, uh, it was Gabe's birthday party, and actually nobody went. Nobody went. We were all going to go, and then nobody went. I wasn't. I never committed to going. That's horrible, guys. Frankly, I, I never said I was going. Frankly, I'm not talking about. Not, I didn't say anything. I didn't say Dan. I blame Zach. Even though I'm he's just, not here. I don't want to catch any heat. That's all I'm saying. I blame Zach. And yes, it is Zach. It fault. was a domino effect. Sorry. Zach isn't here, by the way. <laughs> I said if if people went, I would go. I was on that too. boat too. I was actually one of the first to say I want to go. Mm -hmm. We should all go. Yeah. So what happened? How did it all fall apart, Zach? Fake <laughs> friends. People are saying. So Zach doesn't go, and it all falls apart. He can I just say at the top, yeah, everyone was super mad that nobody went to Gabe's birthday. And like 90% of the comments were people talking about uh, how, what we're scum we are. People are so angry, dude. Nobody's mad at me. Um, <laughs> the youth, they should be. No. You why, told why me they... privately you were going to go. No, I didn't say that. I'm sorry about your dad passing away. <laughs> You're mistaken. Dan told me I'm a perfect I'm definitely angel. Definitely 100% going. Lying. He said an RSVP. Weasley okay. little liar, dude. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so people were so angry at us and I guess we did fuck up, but I have to tell you guys, one, I think we we all intended to go, but Zach bailed to go see the one the life once in a lifetime event of seeing the Pink, Pink Floyd, Floyd cover Pink band. Cover <laughs> band. <laughs> no, he was going to see Pink Floyd, right? Uh, the cover, co the cover oh, band. Oh, it was a cover band. It was yes. a cover band. Yeah, it was like at yeah. a bowling alley or something. <laughs> I don't think he was there. So, and then I guess <clears throat> A.B. and Lena were going to go, and then I guess you guys kind of got cold feet from Zach not being there. You guys weren't... It was, it was, we had a lot going on. And first off, let me say, last year was one of the funnest nights of my life. Like, we, his family is beautiful. We just fit in right away. They, they were so welcoming. We had the time of our lives. We all really sincerely wanted to go. Um, but yeah, no, we... A bunch of us had stuff coming up. Uh, Ian and Sam had a flight the next day, like super early. Uh, I forget what was going on, but yeah, it was. It turned out it was just going to be me, Lena, and Cam at one point. Yeah, me. And Still party. Yeah, I don't know. We were going back and forth so much, and I was at the gym, and I didn't think anyone else was going. By the time other people were ready, and I was, I got beaten up pretty bad. I was all sweaty, and I was like, oh fuck it. I don't think we ruined his birthday party like a lot of y'all maybe thought, but. It, they're all excuses. We don't make excuses here, AB. We own it, okay? Dude, check. Okay. We owning it. Don't be a fake friend, dude. You're a fake. Just own it. I'm sorry, Gabe. No. Fucking weirdos. Straight up. <laughs> I'm <at the> <laughs> King Star. Y'all in chat saying, I'll, you guys are fucking weirdos. Cool story. L, fake friend, dog. <laughs> fucking so weird. This, and then here's the, thing, weird. here's the thing. I'll just be honest, okay? I'll just be real about myself. I said I was going. I was never going to go. <laughs> I was. I bought a costume. Because, I was yeah, wearing yeah. on Friday. Yeah, you guys saw me in the pink shirt. I was ready to go. I was excited. Well, hold to go. on, hold on. Let me let me explain. Yeah. I don't leave my fucking house. Okay. I, I was gonna go. I was gonna go. But like it's I have kids. It cup is it's Friday night. You have two young kids. You've done you it's like the longest fucking day ever. We don't have a babysitter. It's like I know that it's impossible for me for me to do anything. Uh if you combine with my general laziness and social anxiety and also having family and kids and a wife and also that you know a billion other stuff you got to let me off the hook now ab doesn't have shit to do oh which started the gabe curse because not long after that something bad happened to all the crew members after missing gabe's birthday party and by the way, oh, I forgot to explain. Yeah, everyone was super mad of, uh, at us for skipping out on oh. Gabe's birthday party. And I do want to say that we didn't escape scot-free. We realized there is the White Claw Gabe birthday curse mm -hmm. <laughs> that is affecting us all differently. Uh, Cameron is out with food poisoning. He oh. brought out the biggest, gnarliest torta <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. After the show weird. yesterday. Where did he bring it from? I don't know. He doesn't, he doesn't know. even know. I think he found it. He's at some place. He literally said, <laughs> we were like, where did you even get that from? He said, I don't know. <laughs>
<laughs> last night he's like i'm puking i'm so sick i got i'm so he's messed up from that torta yeah. he said he was puking all night yeah, yeah. he's he's yeah. very sick rip rip to the goat zach too is very and sick. Yeah. yeah zach is sick too. well and then so zach thank you uh is very sick still and i think that's part of the gabe curse he thinks he's affecting got the us flu all. And AB, you got a little bit of the Gabe birthday curse. Yeah, as well. my computer, my new computer that me and Dan just recently built, the cooler in it just kind of stopped working. And I Failed. found out that that, I guess that's, it's not uncommon with that. But also my PS5 just randomly froze and wouldn't turn back on. Oh my God, <laughs> all, your, yeah, all your electronics yeah. are. <laughs> and I just beat a, a boss and got a war. Hard ass uh, boss, I was pissed. Uh, I was pissed. Which and, uh, was probably further than me. And your hair falling out. And my hair yeah. falling out. Yeah, what was that about? You're losing <laughs> your hair. That's because I no, bleached my hair like three it. times. Yeah. Like He's there was doing just it one himself. spot. <laughs> There's one spot that would not bleach. No matter what I did, it was like impenetrable. And uh, now it's just falling out. Oh boy. Yeah. That's I told, Gabe. Yeah. I told that Jess. Gabe? Uh, yeah, that's good. Jess, you, and now everybody know who Jess is. Mm -hmm. I told her about it, and she was like, "He's doing it himself." No. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to stop him. I threw away all my bleach stuff. I promised Lena because she has okay. to sit there hearing me like scream as like <laughs> <laughs> as on fire. Yeah. 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 Listen to your head yeah, no, fizzle. Yeah. 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 So, well, it's Gabe. It's Gabe. He Gabe's got ball. you. Yeah. yeah. And um, I actually did the members only live stream and i had to shit my brains out I, if i mean i don't know if that's the gabe okay. curse but i'll write it off <laughs> i thought something was happening because we were like setting up and then we turned back on the stream and you were in the seat you were just gone no yeah. it wasn't you good abandoned shit. Gabe, gabe got me <laughs> yeah anyone else get a gabe? i think my laptop is dying that's a gabe mm. curse oh interesting nothing's mm. happened to me yet i don't know if i will be affected by the curse though because i unlike everyone else mm. didn't say that i would go He's coming for you, bro. Yeah. Gabe what? final. Gabe I never committed. I think it's Gabe for Dan this episode. What? Gabe yeah. final destination oh, birthday curse. But fortunately, that curse did not last long because during the live show, when Gabe made an appearance dressed as Santa, they also invited Linda, the ghost hunter, who apparently lifted the curse. Have a seat next to Linda, please. So, so Linda. Yes. The ghost hunter. That is me. This is White Claw Gabe, who we canceled on his party, and tons of things have been happening bad. And we just need to know once and for all how to lift this mm -hmm. White Claw Gabe curse. Wow. It's and a I, I, may I add, this weekend, all of the crew got sick. It's not just Ethan, by the way. All of us and love in Sweden, which makes Can't no sense. Can't explain that. It makes no sense, and we all have the same symptoms, including love in Sweden. It's Gabe. And, and this all came from you. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That's a yes. <laughs> and we're going to visualize that we actually went to this birthday party, okay? And that we had a great time. And this curse... Yeah, bring down the lights. Let's really... Let's really do this. Yeah. We had a really good time. We had some cocktails. We enjoyed ourselves. Everyone really enjoyed... We gave good presents. That's it, we need those woos, we need those woos. And because we all went to this party, I ask all the spirit guides who are with me to please release the curse of my friends here at H3. Okay, guys. They already said they would attend his next birthday party, so we'll see if next year Gabe is still calling in every Friday, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, the crew will attend Gabe's next birthday party. That's happening. We're, we can't miss the next one, bro. I can't go through that again. Or you guys better go. I have a kid and shit to do and a babysitter. <laughs> I'm not going to have a babysitter on that day. Ian, you still have the graphics? <laughs> there we go. Look, look at this list. It's, it's going to be the same for next year. And don't even get me started with Shredder being sick. You expect me to leave my house oh, for anything? So true. Apart from the live show, Gabe made two appearances in the podcast studio. The first time was a surprise appearance where he joined Ethan to enjoy some fried chicken. I was supposed to sit here today with my water-weighted friend, Nick Akato. Alas, the mukbang is no more. I have 20 pounds of fried chicken, 50 pounds of cheese melted mashed potatoes. We were going to block some arteries today. And now I am one man surrounded by a sea of fried chicken. Oh, Nick. 
Who am I gonna share this fried chicken with? If only there was somebody, anybody to share this fried chicken with. <laughs> I gotta say, fried chicken Friday. <laughs> Even though it's Friday, it's supposed to be fried chicken Wednesday, but I'll say fried chicken Friday, baby. Wake one day, This is the perfect guy to share fried chicken. Hey, grab a piece. Come on, Gabe, sure. you saved the day. I love, I love Jollibee. Jollibee is one of my favorite fried chickens. Oh my God. Besides KFC. <laughs> the second time was during an episode with Oliver Tree. Toward the end, during the boxing match between Ethan and Oliver, Gabe made an appearance as Ethan's coach. Advice, advice. Let's go, Ethan. That's your advice. Let's go. Jab, jab, jab. Jab, jab. So that's your advice. Yeah. Ooh, 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 jab, jab, jab. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, jab, jab, jab. Yeah. Whatever's strongest. No, no, no. That, that, your right is the sucker punch, man. Punch. Wait, which is the left then? How do the you left is the jab, man. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, the left is the jab. <laughs> okay, let's right, do our team champ. Ready? Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alongside Bobby Lee, he provided motivation and support to Ethan during the fight. Oh. Oh, chill. Things, Get Come chill. On. Get <laughs> chill man. Gabe also rebranded his type of cameo to make eulogy style videos with his own signature style. Actually, I must, I forgot to ask Gabe. Dude, this is the best thing Gabe's ever made. <laughs> a, fr a friend of ours, cousin, is a huge fr fan of White Claw Gabe. Yeah. And so she asked our friend to ask us if, no, no, no. Sh our friend asked us <laughs> if we could get a cameo for her cousin. Her dad, unfortunately, passed away, mm -hmm. and she is wrought over it. Mm -hmm. And she thought it, this would cheer her up as a huge fan of White Claw Gabe. So what we did is we paid him. We booked it because, we, you know, we don't want to ask him to work for free, and he's a legend, White Claw Gabe on cameo. Yeah. So we booked it. And then Lena, what happened? So Zach, did you reach out to him? Reached out to him. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Said put a lot of love on this one. You know, <laughs> we know you're great at what you do, but just you know, for the family, put a little extra on it. And he sent this masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> so again, the context here is that her dad passed away, mm -hmm. tragic as that is. And here's Gabe uh, coming through here. Muted. Hold on one sec. Randy, how you doing? I'm sorry about your dad passing away. Fuck me, fuck yeah. And it's since then probably his funniest videos, with more and more people ordering him cameos when something bad happens to their family or friends, and they are often featured on the show. Do you have that sound bite, Zach? I'm sorry about your dad passing away. Fuck me, fuck yeah. <laughs> I mean that that's 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 the best thing you could ever dream to have. Can you actually include the woo-woo, I don't know how back? to react. Can I laugh? Of Do I you... cry? Well, it's meant <laughs> to cheer him up, right? So I'm assuming... Fuck me, fuck yeah! Can you get... Because he says woo afterwards. Can you just pull I, it? I have to pull it, but yeah, I... Yeah, just... Can yeah. It. Sorry about your dad passing away. Fuck me, fuck yeah! Woo! I know you... <laughs> when I first opened this, I was like, no fucking shot. Gabe did a fuck, baby, fuck yeah, woo after that. But he did it. And he's a legend for it. White Claw Gabe on Cameo. This is the shit that you can expect from this absolute content creation god. That's some love on there, baby. Oh. I'm sorry about your dad passing away. Fuck me, fuck yeah! Woo! I know your dad's a special person to you, Randy. I want to wish you the best. Woo! Sometimes, woo! Life doesn't go on forever. Everybody has to go true. sometime, Randy. Fuck me, fuck yeah! I'm sorry. That's true, actually. I mean, that is true. Fuck yeah! This guy knows how to send condolences. I really mean it. This is good. <laughs> I mean, if this doesn't cheer you up, I don't know what would. Yeah, I would laugh true. my ass. Off. Honestly, this, this yes. Is great. It would. Fuck, baby. Fuck yeah. Sorry about your dad dying. <laughs> fuck, baby. Woo. Fuck, fuck, yeah. Everybody dies someday, baby. Woo. <laughs> so awesome. Yo, if I if we ever have a tragedy in my life, 
Yeah. I want one of these. You guys hear me? You want Gabe to eulogize? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how tragic, <laughs> how profound of a loss it is. I want a white claw Gabe cameo. His eulogy is just—it's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, I prefer if he's if he's the key speaker at my funeral. Actually, right. if you yeah. guys, you know, you hear that? Put that in the will for me. Will do. Fuck yeah. Your <laughs> tragic loss, but Randy. I know good things are gonna happen. Special things are gonna happen to you, Randy, because you're the best. Yeah, you're the best because you deserve the best. Fuck me, fuck yeah. Hey, Randy, I heard from Abby about your dad. But sometimes life throws a curveball. Fuck me, fuck yeah. Randy, you're the best. Fuck me, fuck yeah, because it's Friday. Gabe recently had a new arc of him trying something new during the call-ins, like salsa, coffee, and sushi. Hey, I'm so trying something. I'm trying a salsa. Salsa and chips. Mm. Let me guess, Gabe. This is your first time trying salsa. Yeah. You've never tried salsa before in your life. What? No. He's really? Doing, new. He's doing this shtick where he <laughs> he goes, he actually surprised, the first time he was at Starbucks, he goes, I've never had coffee before. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. And then the last time he goes, what was the last one? Sushi. He goes, I've never had sushi before. Sushi. Um, and now you're doing it with salsa. I know you're yanking I my chain. Salsa. I yeah. What's going on here? Right, there we right. go. Salsa for the first time. This is compelling yeah, stuff. <laughs> He's got it in some kind of authentic rama ramekin. He's chilling. He's processing. He's it's not bad, but so spicy. No spicy. Mm. Even though we are all a bit skeptical if it's actually his first time trying these things, Gabe also made an appearance on stage during Zach's show where he sang his catchphrase and the crowd was loving it. <laughs> And more recently, he appeared during the live show as a co-host, and we got to enjoy a live staring contest with Ethan. It's Friday! Shut up, my shit! Let's fucking go! game i'm never gonna win again recently gabe referenced the fact that he wanted to go see a baseball match and during the show they got him a front row ticket so he could go and report on it the next week if we buy you this ticket right behind home plate it's one thousand one hundred dollars yeah. today will you go sure sure <laughs> let's <laughs> go not that enthusiastic <laughs> Which is a good segue for the question I always see asked about Gabe. Is he paid to do these call-ins? I don't have any official source for this, but to me, I doubt he's being paid. I just think it's a great way for him to promote his socials and get more cameo requests. And he also developed a good relationship with Ethan and the crew, so I doubt he thinks he should be paid for it. Plus, it makes good content for the podcast, so it's good for everyone. So, uh, now that we are up to date, uh, what's next for Gabe? Fried chicken Wednesday, baby. Yeah. First of all, he said he would be making merch as a part of his rebranding, so we're looking forward to that. Oh, and second yeah. of all, I'm gonna be launching my merch in a couple of weeks. Uncle so Gay merch. Watch out for that. I'll keep a lookout for that. He also mentioned. He wanted to venture into a new business. He's apparently in the works of opening his boba truck, so we'll keep an eye out. Wait, Nick Nick says, is this real? Can I read this, Zach? Uh, yeah. Gabe, White Claw Gabe, is 
in the works of starting a boba truck. It's oh. called oh Abe Boba Truck. So, uh, he, he, uh, take it well, back. Okay. Boba Gabe. I take it all back. He's Boba Gabe. Take it back. Oh, now I know where I'm getting boba from. Yeah. yeah. Every day. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Oh that's it for this video. I hope it will answer any questions you had about Gabe. As always, I love to explain different characters of the H3 universe. So tell me in the comments who I should do next. How you doing, pal? That's how am I doing. <laughs> be wit. Be wit. Be wit is my last name. Be wit. Be wit. If you'd like to support the creation of future videos, you can find my Patreon link in the description. And another way to support that is completely free, is simply sharing my videos and spreading the word about my channel. I want to extend a special thank you to my amazing patrons whose support has made this video possible. So thank you to Alicia D, Jade Gary, Corey Rupert, Lauren Corovo, Messy Mermaid, Purple Fire, Sarah Boggs, Skyler, Michael Krzyzewski, Ashley Reeves, and number one, Helen Keller Hader. Okay, that's it for today. Until next time, with peace and love, with peace and love.